You tell me what you've been proud of this week. Um, my, my mathletics. And why have you been proud of your mathletics? Because I've been doing them with my mum. <gasps> You've been doing them at home to practice even more? Yes. Fantastic. No wonder you're proud of that. Well done. What have you been doing on your feet this week? Halloween. Your Halloween math mosaic. And what were you practicing for from number? Times. Your times tables. Oh, that sounds really tricky. So is that what you're really proud of this week? Yes. Fantastic, thank you. So what are you really proud of this week? Um, you tell us about your writing. What, were you, what was it about? Oh, that sounds really tricky. So why is that something you're proud of? Because I worked hard on it. Fantastic. Well done. So tell us what you've been proud of this week. I um, have been proud of me because um, I was struggling with um, something and I was able to help me and, mm -hmm. and then I got the hand and I've done it all by myself. So after he helped you, you were able to challenge yourself a wee bit more. And that looks like some interesting work. Tell us what you were doing. Um, And it sounds really tricky, but it looks like when it's finished, it turned out really, really nice. Mm -hmm. So, fantastic. We love to hear that growth mindset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree, and um, that, you should be really proud of that, because it looks like you've put in a lot of effort and a lot of time. And tell us what, how did you complete your artwork? What is it? Tell us about the piece of art you've done. Well, we had to get sponges for the background, and then we did that, and then we did the That's a nice technique, isn't it? Well, fantastic. You should definitely be proud of that. Thanks for sharing that with us. And did that made you feel proud? So you're proud of their choices this week? Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you very much. I'm proud of doing my um, Chinese um, movies um, because it was really fun to do And this is your one here, isn't it? And it looks like you've put in a lot of hard work. So can you tell us maybe some of the techniques you were using to make it? We were using some paintbrushes and watercolours to make all the things. And then oh. to make them like 3D and we used charcoal sticks. Oh wow, because I actually thought that you had stuck something on top as well. So you have and then you've made it even more 3D. And this fruit looks very realistic, doesn't it? Right, fantastic, well done.